Women are nearly half of our workforce, but too many women still earn less than men. Most of the minimum wage workers are women. Women are, are, are you know, on the, on the margins. The difficulties that women and men face in getting the kind of jobs that will provide uh, the kind of income that they need for themselves and their families uh, is roiling beneath the surface of the political debates. Welcome you to the first ever White House Summit on Working Families. Yeah, all right. The White House Summit on Working Families, uh, which was on June 23rd, um, was a really I think really critical moment um, for kind of the issues that working families face. We thought it was an enormous um, opportunity to really elevate the profile on uh, work family issues and focus on the policy solutions that we think are critical to really strengthening working families. Family leave, child care, workplace flexibility, a decent wage, these are not frills, they are basic needs. They shouldn't be bonuses, they should be part of our bottom line as a society. So one of the things that we're doing at the Women's Initiative at Center for American Progress um, is we're really taking kind of what happened from that summit and using it as momentum to drive this narrative forward. Everybody has a role to play, whether you're an individual, whether you're a business, whether you are a member of Congress, there's something you can do to make sure that working families, and in particular women who often bear the burdens of work and family, um, have um, responsive policies that can make a difference in their everyday lives. Mm -hmm.